Welcome guys! In today's video, I'll show you the optimal method to improve your aim and reflexes in order to obtain perfect accuracy in PUBG Mobile. But first, make sure you leave a like so the algorithm grants you pro PUBG Mobile skills. Let's begin! The ability to have accurate aim in PUBG Mobile is incredibly powerful as it will make it very easy for you to quickly focus your reticle on your opponents. But this mechanic is difficult to learn and it has taken many players months of practice to develop excellent aim. So how can we speed up this process? The first thing you need to understand is that aiming requires three different movements that work in conjunction. Movement number one, reticle lock-on. This movement consists of moving your hip reticle towards the general direction of your target. Movement number two, aim down sights. This simple movement consists of opening up the scope for precise focus as well as using the animation as a transition between movements number one and number three. Movement number three, target distance correction. This move is to compensate for the correction distance that is caused by inaccurate hip sensitivity. Many people tend to aim down their sights before locking onto their target, thus resulting in an exaggerated correction distance as you can see here. You should keep the order of the movements for optimal results. This is how optimal aiming looks like when done in a mechanical way. Reticle Lock-On You can see that the lack of precision in the reticle lock-on affects the speed when aiming at your target. To improve hit precision, you have to work on the following steps. Step number one, basic lock-on training. This exercise will help you develop basic muscle memory for hip lock-on from all diagonal directions towards your target. Step number two, Fast Lock-On Training Move the reticle in the same way as before, but this time do it fast to improve your speed and combine it with hip precision. Step number 3. Movement Tracking Drill This exercise will help you develop tracking skills for moving targets so that you don't lose precision even when your opponent is moving a lot. Step number 4. Mobile Target Tracking Drill Run on the shooting range and keep your reticle on the closest target. Once you pass it, switch to the next one. This exercise will help you combine the skills you practiced earlier in order to develop precision and speed in your target tracking. Step number 5. Vertical Reticle Positioning Run in these houses and keep the position of the reticle at head level. It won't feel natural to do this, but you need to do it until you get used to it. What you are training with this drill is a secondary mode of focus when moving, with its priority being combat. That way, you will have two focus modes, looting and combat. Normally when we run inside a building, we tend to focus on the floor because we are looting, but focusing the camera on the floor is not optimal when there is danger nearby. In that situation, it is necessary to keep the reticle at a stable height while you are running, which will help you reduce the distance between a possible enemy and your reticle. I call this mode Combat Focus. In this mode, you focus directly at the same level as your head, positioning your reticle optimally. It doesn't feel natural at first, but it will become quite easy and convenient afterwards. Step number 6. Horizontal Reticle Positioning Run this way in these houses, but focus on maintaining the position of the reticle where an enemy is most likely to be. Avoid focusing your reticle on top of the walls next to you. Rather, be careful to keep it in the right place. This training process will improve your aim and hip reflexes if you train each exercise in order. It doesn't matter if you don't use gyroscope, the device you use, or if you play thumbs only. This video will improve your accuracy no matter what type of player you are. Target Distance Correction Now that you have improved your hip aiming accuracy, it will be easier for you to focus on your targets. But still, you cannot completely eliminate the correction distance. There will always be a minimum distance that you will have to correct once you aim down your sights. 
This is thanks to the high hip fire sensitivity which is naturally less accurate. This is completely normal. The general hip camera is not made for precision, it is made for changing directions when moving. Because of this, it's absolutely necessary to train your ability to correct the error distance when opening up your scope. So, in order to improve your focus reflexes when aiming, you have to master the following steps with all scopes. Step number 1. Progressive Correction Training Aim your reticle down until the center of your target is at the limit of your scope's visibility. Shoot towards the center and return to starting position slightly closer to your target than before. Shoot 5 times with each starting point getting closer and closer. You have to do this from all 4 directions. Down, right, up and left. Step number 2. Directional Correction Training Keep these starting points in mind from where you will aim at your target. Start by aiming your reticle from the bottom point and shoot once at your target. Shoot from all starting points. It is not necessary that you follow the same path of movement of my reticle. I do that for my own convenience. Just focus on shooting at your target from all specified positions. Change the distance to your target depending on the scope you use. Step number 3. Dynamic Correction Training Set up standard training and keep aiming when taking single shots at this target. This exercise prepares you so that the moment you aim, you quickly move your sights precisely towards the target. To improve your reflexes and aiming precision, you have to train these exercises in order. It is not a training routine. You have to master each exercise before you successively move on to the next. Now, having trained these two primary skills in reflexes and aim accuracy, you can be quite precise when aiming at a target. But there is one last skill you have to train in order to aim like the pros. And this is about combining the three aiming movements and doing them together regardless of the order in which they are specified. Movement Combination The key to aiming fast is to use the time it takes to aim down your sights to combine the radical lock-on movement with the target distance correction. If you do the three movements separately and in order, this is how it looks like in slow motion. You may notice that each movement took a certain amount of time which adds up to the total, and there is no smooth transition of sensitivity change from hip sensitivity to scope and sensitivity. They are separated by the scope and animation. Instead, if you do the three movements together, this is what it looks like. You may notice that by combining the three movements, you saved a lot of time focusing on your target. Also, there is a smooth transition between hip sensitivity to scope and sensitivity that takes place during the aiming animation. To improve this skill, you have to train with the following exercises. Exercise number 1. Basic Combination Training Train your muscle memory so that the combination of aiming movements becomes instinctive. This is a basic exercise that will improve your ability to aim directly at your target in the fastest way possible. Exercise number 2. Constant Combination Training Aim at the target repeatedly with a fluid movement and a center shot each time you lock onto it. Once you get used to the movement, do it from all non-diagonal starting points. This exercise will train the basic combination that you trained in exercise number 1, but in a more dynamic way by adding more directions and a precise shot to the center of the target. Exercise number 3. Critical Accuracy Training Set up standard training with static targets and 1% health set up with headshots only. This drill will be a much more practical way to train your aiming movement as it will improve your speed and precision by targeting your opponent's heads. 
Exercise number 4. Aim Tracking Drill Set up a moving target in standard training. Just concentrate on setting your sights on the target when aiming, then tracking it until it changes direction. This exercise will train your ability to precisely aim at moving targets no matter how difficult it may be during a real confrontation. Increase the movement speed as you improve your skills. Exercise number 5. Dynamic Tracking Drill Set up standard training with several moving targets and 1% health. Set your sights on the closest target and shoot it. Do the same with all the targets you have set depending on the scope you are using to practice. Likewise, the movement configuration depends on your skill. As you improve your skills, increase the speed. Exercise number 6. Dynamic Aiming Training Run on the training grounds and randomly focus on the target of your choice. This drill is more dynamic and combines the skills practiced above to simulate a more representative real combat situation, only one in which you are in an open field when shooting at your opponent. Exercise number 7. Dynamic Cover and Aim Training Use this box as cover and shoot at a target of your choice. Be sure to set your reticle in the target while standing to shoot. This drill is just as dynamic as the previous one, but you simulate a different situation in which you have cover when attacking your opponents. You can only start practicing this training routine once you have mastered the two individual aiming movements, reticle lock-on and target distance correction. 5 minutes for each exercise once a day should be enough so that in 10 days you will be very good at your aim. In case this is not enough, Increase each exercise to 10 minutes and continue training daily until you feel that you have mastered your aim and reflexes. If you have not calibrated your sensitivity properly, you need to do it before attempting any type of training. I have developed the best method to obtain your perfect sensitivity and I'll include the link in the description so that you can watch it. After this, play in arena mode to increase the amount of combat and pressure you'll experience in a given amount of time. It is optimal to practice in assault mode on the ruins map because you'll have more ample opportunity to aim down your sights. Play at least 5 games a day to complement the routine and then prepare for more dynamic training. Quick matches. The Quick Match Arcade Mode optimizes basic skills training that will serve you well for classic games. After warming up with the routine exercises and the 5 assault games, play only this mode during the 10 days of training to improve your aim as quickly as possible.